Hello and welcome back. Today we're reacting to some more Curse Gazogd. We're going to be keeping with the black hole theme today, and today we're going to be reacting to Black Holes Explained from Birth to Death. They live a long time. I believe black holes take trillions of years to dissipate. Trillions with a T. They will likely be the last thing in the universe that has any potential to harness energy from, or any potential for change for that matter. Let's learn more together. Black holes are one of the strangest things in existence. Yeah, they, they are. They don't seem to make any sense at all. Where do they come from? And what happens if you fall into one? Dun, dun, dun. Stars are incredibly massive collections of mostly hydrogen atoms that collapse from enormous gas clouds under mm -hmm. their own gravity. In their core, nuclear fusion crushes hydrogen atoms into helium, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. That's some heavy this gas. Energy, in the form of radiation, pushes against gravity. I had heavy gas once. <laughs> Maintaining a delicate balance between the two forces. Mm -hmm. As long as there is fusion in the core, a star remains stable enough. But for stars with way more mass than our own sun, the heat and pressure at the core allow them to fuse heavier elements until they reach iron. Uh, Unlike all the elements... And iron is basically death to fusion because that's where the process stops. It takes way more energy to progress from iron than it does to get to iron. As a matter of fact, you have to put energy into the system instead of getting energy out. Elements that went before, the fusion process that creates iron doesn't generate any energy. Yep. Iron builds up at the center of the star until it reaches a critical amount, and the balance between radiation and gravity is suddenly broken. The core collapses. Within a fraction of a second, the star implodes, moving at about a quarter of the speed of light, feeding even more mass into the core. <laughs> it's at this very moment that all the heavier elements in the universe are created as the star dies in a supernova explosion. It collapses as fast as Zimbabwe's economy in 2008. Too soon? This produces either a neutron star, or if the star is massive enough, the entire mass of the core collapses into a black hole. If you looked at a black hole, what you'd really be seeing is the event horizon. Mm -hmm. Anything that crosses the event horizon needs to be traveling faster than the speed of light to escape. In other words, it's impossible. You can never see the singularity at the center. It's not possible. You can't see it because the event horizon. Light cannot escape. Hence why they're black, because no light comes out. So we just see a black sphere reflecting nothing. But if the event horizon is the black part, what is the whole part of the black hole? The singularity. We're not sure what it is exactly. A singularity may be infinitely dense, meaning all its mass is concentrated into a single point in space with no surface or volume. And we've been through this in some more recent videos, so I'm not going to beat up on this. But once again, it's not really infinitely dense and it's not really infinitely small. That's where our understanding or our ability to express it mathematically breaks down. So the closest thing that we can do to represent it is infinity. But infinity doesn't actually physically exist. So it's not infinite. But for all intents and purposes, it may as well be, and it is, how we represent it. Or something completely different. Right now, it's a mystery, really, and it's we'll like never be able to by prove it. Error. By the way, black holes do not suck things up like that's that's the vacuum. Uh oh man, what's the dude's name? What's the guy's name? Bill Bill No, no. Ah, oh, it's bugging me so much. Ah It's really bothering me. He makes the coolest robots and he made this vacuum cleaner. Um I, I got to look it up now. One sec. It's James Burton. That's his robot vacuum. <laughs> I love that reference. James Burton does a lot of awesome robotics, like Iron Man suits, robot dogs, vacuums, all sorts of cool things. I believe he had a project with Colin Furs, who's another 
genius on YouTube to build the Hulkbuster armor, which was amazing. You just check both of those guys out if you haven't heard of them. Uh, if you like building things and creating cool stuff, you'd really enjoy them. A vacuum cleaner. If we were to swap the sun for an equally massive black hole, nothing much would change for Earth, except that we would freeze to death, of course. What would happen oh, to yeah. you if you <laughs> fell into a black hole? That's true. The experience of time is different around black holes. From the outside, you seem to slow down as you approach the event horizon, mm -hmm. so time passes slower for you. At some point, you would appear to freeze in time, slowly turn red, and disappear. Yeah. While from your perspective, you can watch the rest of the universe in fast forward, kind of like seeing into the future. Ooh. Right now, we don't know what happens next, but we think it could be one of two <laughs> things. One, you die a quick death. A black hole curves space so much that once you cross the event horizon, there is only one possible direction. You mm -hmm. can take this literally inside the event horizon. You can only go in one direction. And of course, time and space swap places past the event horizon because everything is so screwed up in there it's we don't really fully understand it but the singularity isn't physically in front of you it's your future there is no possible future but for you to go to the singularity it's a bit mind-bending it's like being in a really tight alley that closes behind you after each step. Mm -hmm. The mass of a black hole is so concentrated, at some point even tiny distances of a few centimeters would mean that gravity acts with millions of times more force on different parts of your body. Yeah, your that'd be nuts. Your cells get torn apart as your body stretches more and more until you're a hot stream of plasma, one atom wide. Two, you die a very quick Spaghetti death. Spaghetti plasma! Very soon after you cross the event horizon, you would hit a firewall and be terminated in an instant. Neither of these options are particularly pleasant. Mm -hmm. How soon you would die depends on the mass of the black hole. And if time slows down for you as you're falling into the black hole, exponentially, the closer that you get, your torture would last nearly an eternity. That's crazy. A smaller black hole would kill you before you even entered its event horizon, while you probably could travel inside a supermassive black hole for quite a while. As a rule of thumb, the further away from the singularity you are, the longer you live. Huh. Black holes come I in like different living. sizes. There are stellar mass black holes with a few times the mass of the sun and the diameter of an asteroid. And then oh, there wow. are these supermassive black holes which are found at the heart of every galaxy and have been feeding for billions of years. Currently, the largest supermassive black hole known is S50014 plus 81, 40 billion times the mass of our sun. Wow. It is 236.7 billion kilometers in diameter, which is 47 times the distance from the Sun to Pluto. As powerful as black holes what? are, they will eventually evaporate through a process called Hawking radiation. It's humongous. To understand how this works, we have to look at empty space. Empty space is not really empty, but filled with virtual particles popping into existence and annihilating each other again. When this happens right on the edge of a black hole, one of the virtual particles will be drawn into the black hole mm -hmm. and the other will escape and become a real particle. And the mass for that real particle has to come from somewhere. So it comes from the black hole because matter cannot be created or destroyed. So it has to pull its mass from the black hole one tiny little particle at a time. And that's why they take trillions of years to die. <laughs> so the black hole is losing energy. This happens incredibly slowly at first and gets faster as the black hole becomes smaller. When it arrives at the mass of a large asteroid, it's radiating at room temperature. When it has the mass of a mountain, it radiates with about the heat of our sun, and in the last second of its life, the black hole radiates away with the energy of billions of nuclear bombs in a huge explosion. Ah, that'd but be this cool process to see. is incredibly slow. The biggest black holes we know might take up to a Google years to evaporate. That's way more than a trillion. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. This is so long that when the last black hole radiates away, nobody will be around to witness it. The universe will have become uninhabitable long before then. And basically, it's so far into the future that for all practical purposes, it may as well never happen. It's just that far in the future. This is not the end of our story. There are loads more interesting ideas about black holes. We'll explore them in part two. A big thanks to Fraser Kane for help with this video. Wow. 
black holes are something that I don't think I'll ever get tired of learning more about. No matter how much you learn about them, they're just so fascinating. They're the rule breakers of the universe. They like to just kind of say, you know what, I'll make my own rules. I'll puncture a hole through space time and I'll be infinite. And yeah, you know what, you're not getting out of here. <laughs> I don't know. They're just fascinating to me. And the best part about them is no matter how hard we try, no matter how good our theories get, we will never be able to experimentally confirm or prove the inside of a black hole. We can have mathematical models and theoretical models that work, but we'll never be able to prove it. Not the inside. Because you ain't never getting out once you go in. And that to me just adds on that extra little layer of amazingness. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I hope that you have a wonderful day.